I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so I'd like to take an opportunity to talk about Rufus. This is a utility that's commonly used to write um, operating system installers or what have you to USB flash drives and removable media. So it's very simple the way it works. You would choose your USB stick, provide it's big enough for your application. Here it's already um, selected the uh, USB flash drive I've inserted. That we're going to be writing our uh, ISO to. So, under boot selection, you have multiple different things you can you can select from. But the most popular one is disk or ISO image or ISO image, and you would select your image. So we're going to select an image. So for example, I'll locate an ISO image. For example, we got Windows 10 21H2, which may be just a hair too big. Like I'll try to select and we'll see what happens. Well, maybe not. But um so the way Rufus works is it will alter the uh image option, partition scheme, target system, among other things, kind of based off of the ISO you select. I'm going to go select one for Windows 11. So, now we've selected Windows 11, and you can see that we now have some different options. So, What's nice about this particular uh, version of Rufus is it has the ability to turn off the checks for secure boot and TPM on Windows 11 ins installations. That's way that's the way you can actually um, set up a Windows 11 installer to install on pretty much whatever um, any hardware going down to socket AM2 on AMD or probably late 775 Pentium 4, I think on Intel. Yes, way low, way lower than the Microsoft League Class system requires for Windows 11. So you have you definitely have options there, and and here you can change it to MBR. Let's say you're installing an older computer, um, you can change this to MBR, and this will um, be able to install on a system that does not have UEFI firmware. So. For example, if we go back to GPT, you can see the target system would be UEFI only, whereas if it's MBR, the target system system would be BIOS or UEFI-CSM. Now, the way Windows works is there's a different way you could actually um, um, set up your USB drive. You could, if you use the uh, media creation tool, it generally will boot on either a UEFI system or an MBR system. Or, or BIOS, rather. So, these things you don't really need to worry about. Um, now, depending on what you're using, it may want to do the file system as NTFS. I know with Windows 11, I think it, I think the install.wim file is too big for FAT32. So, it chooses NTFS. So, for example, um, so just for the heck of it, I will go ahead and write this USB stick with this Windows 11 uh, ISO. Even though I already have a Windows 11 installer, just to show you how it works. So what's going to happen is it's going to erase everything that's on here and replace it with the new image. So if I hit start. It's going to do a little check here. And it's going to warn you that all data on the device will be destroyed because it's going to format it. And to continue, select OK or to quit, click Cancel, you just click OK to proceed. 
and you see down at the bottom it's going to go ahead and write the flash drive I'm just going to write a bootable flash drive with the ISO image you selected so you can use this for Windows, you can use this for Linux, you can use this for Android TV X86, you can use this for Android X86 Rufus is very useful for stuff like this but there's actually a way you can set up a uh, Windows installation flash drive that does not require any utility and I may cover that in a later video so we'll let this go ahead and complete okay so the utility has completed copying files over and you can see now it just shows ready so don't let this confuse you um, it's actually it's actually finished so sometimes you look at this and might be like oh I need to start it no not necessarily it's already done so if you look up here um, you can see that our device now has a different label and everything so this is now ready to go so you could just insert this into a computer and you should be able to boot off of it and install Windows or whatever OS you're installing so anyways hopefully this is helpful hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cute Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.